Good morning. I am Dr. Nidish Mohanji. I am the junior resident at the Department of Radio Diagnosis and Imaging, Command Hospital Center, Command Lucknow. I'll be covering this paper presentation under the following headings: the title, author, aim and introduction, methods, results, discussion, and the references used. The title of the paper presentation is the ultrasound assessment of carotid intima media thickness in psoriasis patients. Psoriasis is an immune mediated chronic inflammatory and hyperproliferative skin disease presenting with scaly erythematous plaques on body surfaces with or without arthritis. There is accumulating evidence to suggest that psoriasis is a multi system disease with chronic systemic inflammation. Psoriasis patient also has an increased risk of subclinical atherosclerosis, hypertension, diabetes, metabolic syndrome, cardiovascular diseases, and stroke. The carotid media, intima media thickness can be used as an indirect marker for subclinical atherosclerosis and predict the risk of cardiovascular disease in psoriasis patients. Aims and objectives of the study are to assess the carotid artery intima media thickness on ultrasonography in patients with psoriasis and to correlate the same with PASI or the psoriasis area and severity index score. The carotid intima media thickness, henceforth uh, abbreviated as CIMT, was measured using the following technique. It was done by an ESOT MyLab Gamma ultrasound machine using a 7.5 MHz linear array transducer. The depth was set at 4 cm with a dynamic range of 70 dB and a frame refresh rate of 32 Hz. Patients were rested for 10 minutes prior to the examination. The CIMT measurement was taken in the distal common carotid artery on both sides, one centimeter proximal to the carotid bulb. The CIMT of the anterior, posterior and lateral walls of the common carotid artery was taken on both sides and average. Assessment was done for the carotid plug also in, in the same setting. A case control study was done using the technique described earlier for the measurement of CIMT using 100 age and sex matched cases and controls. For cases, the inclusion criteria was psoriasis patients with or without history of psoriatic arthritis. Exclusion criteria were patients with known or suspected history of systemic inflammatory diseases except for psoriatic arthritis. Prior diagnosis of the treatment of coronary or peripheral arterial diseases, acute coronary syndrome, heart failure, stroke or transient ischemic attacks, significant liver or kidney dysfunction and severe hypertension was also an exclusion criteria. For controls, the inclusion criteria included individuals recruited from the same dermatology clinics who are being seen for common dermatological complaints, including seborrheic keratosis, warts, nevi, and actinic keratosis. Non-genetically related subjects residing with psoriasis patients were also taken. Exclusion criteria for controls for patients with history of atopic dermatitis, contact dermatitis, acne, connective tissue disorder, or autoimmune blistering diseases, as these conditions were known systemic inflammatory diseases. The results of the study showed that the CIMT of the cases was approximately 0.494 plus minus 0.245 mm, so significantly higher than the control, which was approximately 0.316 plus minus 0.113 mm. In the case group, a total of 18% patients showed subclinical atherosclerosis, for which the CMT was taken as more than or equal to 0.8 mm, whereas in the control group, none of the patients showed subclinical atherosclerosis. In statistical terms, there was a significant difference between the two groups where the p-value was less than 0.001. This is a uh, frequency polygon and a bar diagram showing the distribution of the CIMT in the cases and the controls. There was a significant correlation between the CIMT at all sites on both sides in both in the uh, cases that were uh, included in this study. Other results or conclusions that were uh, derived from the study was younger, uh, the older patients uh, considered more than 45 years of age Overweight and obese patients had significant higher CIMT compared to the controls. Mean CIMT was significantly lower in psoriasis vulgaris variants 
as compared to that of pustular and psoriasis, uh, pustular psoriasis and the psoriatic arthritis variant. More than five years of uh, illness duration or the earlier the onset of illness and the longer the duration of the disease uh, process was significant, had significant higher CMT. Presence of comorbidity significantly increased the CMT in the uh, cases. Mean CMT of those having PASI scores more than 10 was higher as compared to those having PASI scores in the range 5 to 10. But this association was not significant statistically. Discussion of this case, the BMI profile of the patient in the present study is compared to that as reported by Girisha et al. who reported it to be 24.25 kilogram per meter square and they did not find a significant difference from controls. Among studies reporting high prevalence of severe psoriasis, Sabri et al. found 40% of the patients with severe and remaining 60% with moderate disease with a mean uh, PASI score of 12.3 only. Although Engan et al. did not report any significant correlation between duration of the diseases and age at onset and the PASI score. All these studies similar to the present study have also reported a significantly higher mean CMT in cases as compared to controls. The minimum proportional difference between the two groups as found by Tallery et al. was mean CMT to be approximately 1.04 times higher than in cases as compared to control, which is much lower than the what is found in the present study, which was 1.56 times. Some other workers also found mean CMT of cases to be approximately 1.08 and 1.09 times higher than the controls. However, the work uh, Maharus et al. and Kotiwal et al. have found it to be, to be 1.34 and 1.61 times higher than the control group. These are a few of the references that I have used uh, to complete this study. Thank you. Thank you.